Okay, so for the wings, we are going to start with six single crochets into the magic ring in the first row. Okay, and then in the second row, we are going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of six stitches. Okay, so we'll continue to do. single crochet in every stitch around Okay, and then after that now in our third row we are going to increase every stitch around for a total of 12 stitches okay so we're going to increase and increase also the next stitch and increase and increase all the remaining stitches okay so now in our fourth row uh, we're going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 12 stitches so we'll continue and do single crochet in every stitch single crochet and do that all the way round okay so now in our fifth row we are going to do single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet then increase in the next stitch and repeat single crochet increase okay and repeat this all the way round Okay, so now after that, uh, for the next two rows, which is row 6 and row 7, you're going to do single crochet in each stitch for a total of 18 stitches. Okay, so you continue and do single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, and you'll do that in every stitch around and the next one, one row. So I'll see you when you're done in the 7th row, so that we do the 8th row together. Okay, so now in our eighth row, uh, we're going to start decreasing and uh, we're going to do single crochet, then decrease and repeat all around for a total of 12 stitches. So we do single crochet, then decrease in the next and we'll repeat single crochet, decrease and you keep repeating that all the way round okay so now in our ninth row which is our last row we are going to decrease all the way to the end for a total of six stitches so we'll decrease and we'll continue decreasing all the way to the end and then after you're done go to the next stitch slip stitch and cut off the yarn long enough for sewing okay so after that we'll make the beak okay so for the beak we start with uh we do with the yellow yarn and we start with six single crochets into the magic ring so now in the second row we are going to do a single crochet in every stitch for a total of six stitches. 
stitches so we'll do single crochet single crochet all the way to the end Okay, and then now in our third row, we are going to increase every stitch around, okay, for a total of 12 stitches. So we're going to increase and increase the next stitch too. And you increase in all the remaining stitches. Okay, so now in our fourth row, we are going to do single crochet in every stitch around for a total of 12 stitches so we continue to do single crochet single crochet okay and do single crochets all the way round okay so now in our fifth row uh, we're going to do five single crochet then increase and repeat that two times so we'll do single crochet one two three four five and increase and repeat one more time five single crochets and increase okay then slip stitch and cut off your yarn long enough for sewing okay and also don't forget to uh, stuff your beak before you attach it to the head okay so now let's make the feet okay so for the feet we also use the yellow yarn and you're going to start with six single crochet into the magic ring and in the second row we are going to do an increase then two single crochet and repeat that again okay so we're going to increase in the first stitch then do two single crochets And repeat that again increase and two single crochets okay and then in our third row we are going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of eight stitches so we continue to do single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, and do single crochet in every stitch round. Okay, so now in our fourth row, we are going to increase and do three single crochet and repeat and again one more time. So we're going to increase, do three single crochets. And repeat increase and three single crochets okay now in the fifth row we are going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 10 stitches so we'll do single crochet single crochet single crochet and repeat all the way round okay so now in our sixth row 
we are going to do uh, an increase and then for single crochet and repeat one more time so we're going to increase and do four single crochets one two three four and repeat increase and four single crochets okay and then after that in our seventh row we're going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of 12 stitches so we'll continue to do single crochet single crochet okay and repeat all the way round okay so now after that in our eighth row which is our last row we are going to decrease six times for a total of six stitches okay so decrease and we are going to continue decreasing all the way round And decrease the last time and then after that we are going to slip stitch and cut off the yarn long enough for sewing okay so and then after that you're going to make one more fit okay so now for the combs which is the upper part of the chicken we are going to use the red color and we are going to start with six single crochets into the magic ring four five and six okay and then after that in the second row uh, we are going to increase every stitch around for a total of 12 stitches so we'll increase the next stitch and increase all the other stitches okay and you continue increasing all the way round okay so now for the next three rows which is from row three until row five you're going to do single crochet all the way round in each row for a total of 12 stitches in each row so i'll see you when you're done in the fifth row so that we do the sixth row together okay so now uh, when you're done with the fifth row this is how uh, your comb should look like so now in our sixth row we are going to do two single crochet then decrease and repeat all round so we're going to do two single crochet and decrease And then we're going to repeat that two single crochets and decrease and repeat one more time two single crochets and decrease. Okay. and then now after that um, in the next two rows which are the last rows row 7 and row 8 we are going to do single crochets all the way okay so when you're done with the eighth row uh, we're going to finish off so do single crochet in the next two rows okay so when we're done we are going to go into the next row slip stitch and cut off the yarn long enough for sewing okay so you're going to make two more of these so you're supposed to have three so after that i'll show you how to make the tail or the feathers 
Okay, so the tail is quite easy. So we're going to make three of them in different colors. And we're going to start with uh, chain 17. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So make sure you make your chain loose enough. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Okay, so after that, we're going to start from the third chain from the hook. So one, two, three, and we are going to do a double crochet in the next 12 chains. So we'll do a double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, and then after that, we'll do single crochet in the remaining two stitches. So we do single crochet and one more single crochet okay and then I uh, will do a chain three so one two three and turn to this other side and then we do single crochet in the first uh, two chain of the other side so single crochet one and another single crochet and then we'll continue to do double crochet in all the remaining stitches Okay, so after you're done with the last stitch, now here we're going to slip stitch and cut off the yarn long enough for sewing. Okay, so this is how your little feather should look like. So you're going to make others in different colors. So I made another one in orange and the other one in pink. So same pattern. Okay, so and then after that I'm going to explain how to join all the parts together okay so guys as you can see I've already finished attaching all the parts together so what I did first is I attach um, the beak so that it becomes the center of everything so make sure you attach it at the center of the head and remember the head was bigger than the body so attach it here at the middle 
and then after that uh, you're going to attach um, here um, the combs right above the beak so they're supposed to go like this in the middle all the way to the back okay and then after that you're going to attach the wings um, on the side like that so make sure the beak is at the middle and then the wings here at the side and this is how you're supposed to attach them so uh, like that as you can see in this other side and then uh, right below the wings I attached the legs so the legs are supposed to uh, to be attached right at the very bottom so that the chicken looks like that like it's sitting down or and then here I attach uh, the feathers like this as you can see okay so I attach right uh, put them on top of each other so the wrong side is supposed uh, to be here on the inside and the right side up like that so you put them like that first and then uh, you attach them over here you saw them right over here so I made two lines one here and one right above like that so that when they close they're supposed to look like that okay and then you don't attach them at the very bottom you attach them right above here the legs right above the legs over here so it's supposed to look like that okay and then I embroider some eyes so if you have um, the doll eyes you can also attach them but I want to embroider this because it's a, to a toy for a baby to play with okay so guys I hope you enjoyed this pattern uh, thank you so much for watching if you have any questions you can ask in the comments below and if you have some you haven't subscribed please subscribe to support me and until next time bye